Okay. So, as I say, I'm just going to go through this very quickly. Um, it's my dad's birthday and everything, so... But some of you said that it would have been better to do my short game video if I did the side perspective as well. Which I'm going to do now for you. So, I'm going to go through the basic shots again. I'll go through the basic chip. And I'll go through the bump and run. And then I will go through the flop shot in and out of a bunker. The conditions are slightly better today. So, hopefully, I can uh, do a better video for you. Now, the basic chip... Everything I've learned from basic chipping is from Phil Mickelson. He's my big hero, always has been. So I basically copied the technique Phil does and I think it's the safest technique to chip the ball. Now, basically what you do, I mean, I'm glad you, you listen to me because Phil will tell you exactly the same. You don't have to listen to me, listen to Phil. He's the master of it, not me. Basically what you do is the ball slightly back of the stance. Five tips, ball slightly back of the stance that's number one number two angle the club into the front leg number three weight on the front leg about 70 percent once you're in this position the takeaway you cock your wrists very early but you don't cock, bring your wrists back down you keep the wrist cocked throughout the shot and number four once you're in this position is through like that Always Phil does it, he likes to do it like that and sees everything in a straight line. Now I can't do that, but of course Phil's a professional, but I can do it two-handed. So here we go. Let's put into practice what I preach. Ball slightly back of the stance. Angle the club face in. Weight goes on the front leg, 70% of the weight goes on the front leg. Cock the wrist early and then follow through. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Couldn't have hit that better. Now with this technique, it, you can fat it, but it's almost impossible to blade it. Show you again. Back of the stance. Angle the club face in. Weight onto the front foot. Cock the wrist early and follow through. Do not break the wrist. Keep the wrist cocked. Again, perfect. Can't blade it. I'll do it one more time. And I can do this all day if I really wanted to. Um, I might fat it, but I certainly won't blade it. It takes the blade totally out of the considera consideration because it's so far closed the face. The worst thing you can do with chipping is flicking the wrist. Once you start doing this with the blade, flicking the wrist, that's Phil it says is the danger zone because if you start flicking the wrist as I'll show you here if you flick your wrist on a pitch shot the chances are there you go you'll just blade it and it'll just pop along you just totally blade it and over hit it so I'll do it one more time for you the basic chip and I'll just explain the tips to you then I'll show you the shot this time number one close your stance number two ball slightly back of the stance number three weight 70% on the front leg. Number four, angle the club in to the, the leading leg, the front leg. Number five, cock the wrists early. Number six, don't cock, don't break the wrists, wrists throughout the shot. Keep them cocked. And number seven, follow through in a nice straight line. There's seven simple things to remember with the chip shot. I'll do it again without me speaking. And I'll, so you can see it in a live game situation. Brilliant. Brilliant. Four foot away. So that's your basic bump and run shot. Um, if you've got plenty of space in front of the green, you're just off the side of the green and um, there's lots of space to run it up. So yeah, now we'll get on to the bump and run shot. Okay. Now, the second shot is the bump and run, which I'm now going to show you, which was made famous with, obviously, Lee Trevino and um, Sevi Ballesteros. They were the ones who mastered it. Now, I'm using an 8-iron. 
Now you can just as well use a hybrid. In fact, I'll show you both shots. I'll get my hybrid out as well, because I've done a video on this, but let's do another one, eh? We may as well, just a bit, bit of a laugh. So yeah, Seve Ballesteros made this very popular and so did Lee Trevino. Basically, you can do this in the same position. If you're not comfortable with the Phil Mickelson technique, you can go for the simple bump and run shot, shot. Now this is not like a normal shot. Again, you don't break the wrists. In fact, you don't move the wrists at all. You do it like a pudding stroke, where you set up as if you were putting. You hold it at the bottom of the grip, that's very important, and you lift it up just slightly like that. So it takes the toe and the heel out of the equation. So you feel more on top of the ball. And from there, it's a very, very basic, don't break the wrists, it's a very basic putting stroke, as such. So, what are the key tips here? Well, basically, number one, putting stroke. Your stance is like a, your, like a putting stroke, your stance. It's a putting stroke technique. Bottom of the grip is number three. Number four, it's just nice and easy play it like a putter. So let's put that into practice, what I preach. Putting stroke stance, bottom of the grip, putting stroke type of shot, nice and easy, club face slightly up, go on, go on, Ooh. five, six yards past the flag. Now, for those of you who are afraid of braiding it and everything, we'll come onto the hybrid next, but this is also a very, very safe shot. If you don't like knocking the ball up in the air and you like bumping and running it, this is ideal for you, because it's very, very difficult to blade this shot. Again, you can fat it, but it's very, very difficult to blade it. So, putting like stance, putting like stroke, bottom of the grip, slightly turn the head up, slightly turn the grip to away from you, and it's just a putting like stroke. That's going to be even better. Go on, son. Go on, son. Inch away. So, I'll go through the basics again with you. This time I'll just talk through the basic points. And then I'll do it with silence and just play the shot for you to show you it in a shot real life shot situation so number one is you don't cock the wrists at all you don't move the wrists you don't cock the wrists you don't flick them you just keep them nice and steady number two it's a putting like stance number three it is a putting like stroke and number four nice and relaxed grip you don't have to hold it tight and it's just a nice easy putting like motion to hit the ball and bump it up and run and number five sorry do not forget don't have the ball in there, uh, the, the club, sorry, there. Just lift it up slightly, and it takes the toe and the heel totally out of the equation. So here we go. I'll just do it with silence so you can see the shot, what it would be like in real life. So there we go. That's your basic bump and run. Now, you can use the hybrid for this. This definitely, definitely, definitely takes blading it out of the equation. You cannot blade it. Trust me on this. But it's basically the same technique, just we're using a hybrid and we don't have to hit it as hard. So again, putting like stance, bottom of the grip, slightly up towards, away from you. Nice and relaxed grip. It's just a simple, easy putting stroke. That's going to be good as well. That's going to be very good. <laughs> Foot away again from the pin. Both of them. So that's it. I'll show you again, this time without me going through and talking, what it would be like on the course. Very simple technique.
Go on. Three foot again. Fantastic. That is your basic bump and run shot. So now um, we're going to move on to the more complicated shots, the flop shots, the downhill lies, the uphill lies, in the bunkers, away from the bunkers, and I will teach you some simple techniques on how to get out of bunkers and also how to hit over bunkers when a lot of amateurs are frightened of this shot. I've done it before, but I did it very quickly, but this time I'll do it from a side perspective so you can get an idea of what technique it is that it takes to do these shots. Okay, so now we're in a position that a lot of amateurs hate. We're in the bunker, we're in the sand, we're in the Sahara Desert. And the worst thing about this one is it's got a lip to it. Now, a lot of people in these situations, if you've seen the video, again, you'll understand the basic points that I've said, but a lot of amateur golfers get in here and straight away they grip the club too hard and they start doing that, start to, start to go oh, punch at it. Or they've hit the ball first and they hit it too hard and it goes flying over the bunker and it's onto the, the rough or the next fairway or another bunker that's there. They just, they just haven't quite got the technique right. Now, the basic technique that I use is the same as the flop shot that I'll show next. The basic technique is, I'll do it in points again, is number one, open the stance, number two, open the grip, number three uh, is a nice easy grip, and number four, make sure you follow through. Four simple tips. And with this technique, all it is, is the higher you go, the more naturally you're going to hit it harder and that's all it is it's just getting the swing right just the natural uh, muscle memory of the shot and that's all it is the technique's easy in practice but you've got to practice and practice and practice you've got to go to your short game area and you've just got to practice this, the technique and just hit ball after ball after ball after ball put them in different places in the bunker at first when you're first doing it doesn't matter where the ball's at, it's all about getting the technique right and hitting the ball well and getting it out of the sand. After that, it's about distance control and that's when the muscle memory comes into it. But at first, don't worry if the ball's going all over the place. As long as you're getting it out of the bunker, that's the key. It's getting the technique right to get this ball to propel it out the bunker. And with this technique, you don't hit the ball first. It's the sand just before the ball and the sand propels the ball. So I'll show you. Again, I'm not going to do any massive technical stuff, just simple tips. Number one, open your stance. Number two, open the club face. Number three, nice easy grip. You don't have to grip it too hard. And number four, follow through. So here we go. And I use a 56, by the way, for this. You can use any wedge you want, 56, 52, 58, 60. Whatever you feel comfortable with to get out of the bunker, you can use it. Open the stance, open the face, nice easy grip, and follow through. Now I'll admit, I'll admit I just got that one out, but it's out and it's on the fringe of the green. So now, naturally I know I'm going to have to hit it harder, so all I do is take a bit of a, of a longer swing. So again, number one, open the stance, number two, open the grip. Uh, open the club face, sorry. Number three, easy grip. And number four, follow through. Yep, that's far better. That's about five foot away. Perfect. I'll do it again one more time for you. Very simple, very simple technique. Open the face. With the open your stance, number one. Number two, open the grip. Open the club head, sorry. Number three, easy grip. And number four, follow through with the shot. Follow through with the ball. And that one's backspan and it's just slightly to the back of the green. I haven't got much green to work with here to be honest, but it doesn't matter where the ball goes. It's all about the technique, getting the technique right. So I'll do it again for you, this time with no talking. Just so you see it in the live situation, I'll go through the points again. Number one, open your stance. 
Number two, open the open the, the club face. Number three, nice easy swing and no, nice easy grip. And number four, follow through the ball. Do not chop at it. That is the worst thing you can do in a bunker. You will never get out of bunker if you chop at it. You've got to follow through and commit with the shot. So here we go. That's good again. That's about six feet. So that's how to get out of a bunker, basically. Um, I'll go through it one more time. Just four simple tips. Open your stance. Open the club face. Nice, easy grip. Follow through with the ball. And after that, once you've got the basic technique right, it's just basically going to your short game area at your club or at the driving range and just working on the feel and the muscle memory and putting yourself in different situations around the course in a bunker and getting that natural muscle memory feel of how hard you have to hit it out the sand. So that, that's how your basic bunker shot to get out of a bunker with a lip that a lot of amateurs are frightened of. Next up, the flop shot. Basically the same thing but it's another one amateurs are absolutely dreading on the golf course. Okay, there's something wrong with my little controller. I don't know what it is, but we'll switch it off. Might just be, I've overused it. Now then, this is the position where amateurs absolutely dread being. And I would dread being in it if I had a 56, because that's not the club I use for this. But again, you can use any sort of wedge you want. You can use a 56, you can use a 52, you can use a 58, you can use a 60, you can use a 64. If any of you have seen that daft video, you can have a 72. It really doesn't matter. I'll just knock that up so I definitely know this is on the video. It really doesn't matter. Whatever wedge you feel comfortable with. It's the same technique, basically, as what you are in a bunker. This helps you propel the ball and stop it on a penny. It's not a shot. Honestly, this is not a shot to dread. If you know the technique how to get out with this, with, with the four simple things, I taught you the same as the bunker, you can do exactly the same as I am. The flop shot is not a mystery. It's not a mystery if you can learn the technique and just work in the feel. So again, I've got a bunker at the front here that I'm dreading. I don't want to overhit it because it'll be in the rough at the back. So, it's the basic technique again of getting out of a bunker basically, just this time it's on grass. So, number one, again, open the stance. Number two, open the grip. Number three, easy swing. Number four, follow through. Very simple. Open the stance, open the grip. Open the club face, sorry, easy grip, and follow through with the shot. There we go. Perfect. Eight foot away. So I'll try it again. Again, just open your stance, open your grip, nice easy swing, and just follow through with the shot. Again, six feet. No, maybe a bit more. It brought a bit to the right. Eight foot. So that's the basic technique. Now I'm just an ordinary amateur golfer. If I can do it, any of you do it. I'll do it one more time for you. And then I'll do it just without me speaking. So open stance. Open, open the face. Nice easy swing. And follow through. Yeah, and always, 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 when you play the shot, follow through. Do not do like I see some amateurs do. I, I, so I'm, I know this is aimed for you, and I'm not going to insult those who are 25, 30 handicappers because this video is aimed at you and everything. But please, 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 whatever you do, do not do this sort of shot that I see so many people in bunkers, so many people trying to go over the bunkers and uh, try, trying to attempt their own flop shots without the correct technique. And please, please, please do not do this, what I'm about to show you. I've seen that too many times, people chopping at the ball, and honestly, it does not work. Just remember, it's like the same, it's like a normal swing, just you're slightly angled, just easy grip. 
follow through. And that's it. That's the basic shots around the green. If you'd like me to show you any more shots, um, I will do them. But um, basically, I think I'm only in a position to teach you these basic shots. The ones that the pros do, the more advanced ones, I think uh, it's better watching them videos. But thanks for watching. Um, this is a bit longer than I thought it would be, actually. I thought it was going to be a short video, but it's not. Um, if you like what you've seen, subscribe and like. This is just the side version to give you another perspective of how to play the different shots. Your basic chip, your bump and run, playing out of a bunker and hitting over a bunker. Thanks very much. John from John Hutton Golf Channel. Subscribe and like if you like my videos. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Cheers.